The time of the beloved children of the great human spirit. And the people who had loved the human spirit so dearly and who had been beloved by him as well, the people, they stood up all over the world, in every country, in every tribe, in every village and city, in every nation, in every family, and even sometimes alone. These people stood up and they said, We are beloved children of the great human spirit. They went back to their places of birth. They went back to their places of origin. They went back to the places where their dead were buried. They went back to their ancestors, the ones in the sky and the ones on earth. They went back into their memories of childhood fantasies. They went back into the softness of their hearts. They went back to their magical mountains. They went back to their sacred forests. They went back into the holy waters. They went back into the ceremonies that called for them. They went back to sing with the plants that sang to them. They went back to the ancient temples. They went back to their courage and conviction. They went back into their own. They went across countries and continents, and they went across the street as well. They crossed borders and flew high into the sky, and they reclaimed their neighbors next door as well. They went back into the ceremonies of ancient times, and they built new ceremonies for modern times as well. They collected rituals from people far away, and they created new rituals with people close to them. They held hands with one another and they sang to the stars. They felt the big fears melt away as they realized they had never been alone. They remembered their soul families in the stars. They remembered that they had never been abandoned. They remembered who they were at their core. And each one of them accepted their mission, knowing full well that this mission came with no guarantees. Only the bombastic and vulnerable wonder of being the light of a star encased in the ecstatic time-ridden body. And piece by piece, the body of the human spirit came together. And moment by moment, step by step, the cracks in the souls of the people and the tears in the hearts of the humans healed. And there were no more walls slicing up the visible earth and no more borders and walls breaking up the invisible realms. It was then that the spirit of the human being attempted to rise again onto his feet. And the magical Star Queen, she took the letters out of Reset's name and she spoke the new name of Reset. She spoke Remember into his spirit. And the joke that he was gave a final shriek and Reset was no more. The human spirit breathed life again and stands now onto his feet. The human spirit stands up again. He walks himself with those fearless and strong feet through the gate of the stars and gives the singer back the light of the life of his beloved. He can do that now. Now he is God above death. More than that, though, he is a good man in love. Thus the singer walks out of the land of the dead with his beloved star. See them there in the heavens there. They are shining together, eternally kissing. The singer dancing circles around his beloved, singing her eternal praise songs. And there's the human spirit passionately kissing his beloved magical star queen. Kissing, yes, kissing. The gods still talk about this kiss. It was that beautiful. And there's the lion in the sky roaring and telling stories. And the big bird, there it is as well, forever flying and etching out wisdom with his beak. And the magical child now became a holy spirit king clad in the wisdom of both the lion and the bird. His left eye, the moon, his right eye, the sun, the two ovaries of the galaxy, the eyes of the great bird child, his mouth, the entrance to the womb that is the center of all creation. Remember now ruled the land. Remember you are so much bigger than you know. You are so much older than you know. You are so much taller and wider and so much not only human and beautifully human at that than you know. You are so much... Your soul lives in a timeless time, and here is the truth. Remember it rightly. 
Your soul is like a string, long living a journey, and each lifetime is a bead that gets strung onto the string, onto this bracelet, and there is a necklace of shining beads, and the one who wears the necklace, that's the big love, the great mother, that's God. And God is proud of wearing you around her neck. God feels safe wearing you around her neck. God touches the bead of the necklace in wonder and thinks warm thoughts and the whole universe smiles at you. What is the name of the great spirit of the human being? It is your own holy and sacred name. Speak it into the stars again. Do you remember now?